I'm Staff Sergeant Robert Bem, a C-130 crew chief out of Pope Field, North Carolina, and the 2012 AMC representative for the Airman to Airman Safety Advisory Council. In August of 2009, I was arrested for drunk driving. I should have been arrested many times before. I did not take alcohol seriously, and I never really thought that I would get into an accident or get caught. I actually thought that I could drink and drive safely. I lost driving privileges for nearly two years, paid and still pay thousands in fines, but the worst part of all was seeing the disappointment and the loss of respect on the faces of my family and friends, coworkers and supervisors. The idea that I could have killed or injured myself or someone else as a result of my selfish decisions scares me to death, and I thank God every day that my story doesn't end that way. But what about your story? What decisions are you making that are propelling you toward a tragic ending? We all have family and friends that we love and care about, so as we enter the critical days of summer, let's start a pattern of decision making that proves it. Make safety personal and enjoy the life you live. Hello, my name is Marilee Reuter, and I'd like to share with you why seatbelts and safety matter to me. In May 1984, I became a stepmom to two kids, Christopher, age 9, and April, age 6. When Chris was 12, he came to live with us, and we developed a close relationship. And after high school graduation, Chris wanted to join the Army, and I supported him. Chris entered the Army in 1992, and after training, he was stationed at Fort Lee, Virginia. In 1993, Memorial Day weekend, Chris and his buddy took off on a road trip. Somewhere during the night, while Chris was a passenger, the truck rolled and Chris was thrown out. When his dad called to tell me about the crash, he told me that Chris was in intensive care with a broken neck and it appeared he'd be a quadriplegic. The accident had been a one-car rollover and Chris wasn't wearing his seatbelt. Not wearing his seatbelt, how could that be? You see, I'm an Air Force safety professional, and I worked in safety when Chris was growing up. He knew he always had to wear his seatbelt, and he once told me that people that didn't wear their seatbelt were stupid. Approximately a week after the crash, I received a call that Chris had died due to complications. This Memorial Day weekend, Chris will be gone 19 years. Parents aren't supposed to lose their children. We never completely get over it. There's a hole that never goes away. Please don't drive when you're tired. Wear your seatbelt every time you get in a car. As you enjoy activities this summer, remember, the safety of you and your family matters because it's personal. I love Chris and I miss him, but I can't bring him back. As you just heard from Sergeant Ben and Mrs. Reuter, the consequences of poor decision making can have devastating effects on you and your loved ones. 18 airmen lost their lives last summer, two from Air Mobility Command. Think about it. The lives of their families, friends, and coworkers will never be the same. Enjoy the warm weather. Enjoy the summer. Go to the lake. Take the family to the ball game, whatever you enjoy. But make sure you arrive back home safely. Make good decisions about alcohol and fatigue. Safety is personal. Sadly, we continue to lose more airmen on the roadways than anywhere else, including combat. The recurring themes are excessive speed, alcohol, fatigue, and failure to use seat belts. If you ride a motorcycle, your risk increases exponentially. Specialized training courses are available that will increase your skills and ability to recognize potential hazards. Seat belts and helmets improve your chances of survival in a mishap. Water sports are the second leading cause of accidental death. Again, alcohol and fatigue are common factors. We must reverse this trend. That starts by taking your safety and that of your family members personally. AMC's goal during this summer is zero fatalities. We need every airman to be involved, commanders, supervisors, families and individuals. In many of these situations, it's co-workers and friends who are the final barrier between a good time and a life impacting disaster. We need to actively manage risk on and off duty. We can't afford to lose a single airman. You are all too important to your family and to our Air Force family. The Chief and I cannot be more proud of what you do every day. We answer the call so that others may prevail and remain busy across the planet delivering hope, fueling the fight, and saving lives. But to do all this, we must first take care of ourselves. Thank you for all that you do. Enjoy the summer and remember, summer safety, please make it personal.